Welcome to Seven of the Fates. Today we're going to talk about the person who's going to reach out to you at the soonest. Pick the card that sparks a memory in you. It has your answer. Guidelines below on how to do just that. Feel free to pause this video as you take your pick. As always, timestamps down below. And let's begin. If you chose the first card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So, who will reach out to you soon? We have Mother, Advocate, Saboteur, Victim. From Tarot, you have the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, the Magician, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Darling, this is someone who betrayed you. Someone who whom you looked up to, you respected, it was very kind and helpful towards you, but the thing that they were helping you with, eventually you got better than them at it. You know, some sort of jealousy and envy got in the picture and now things are not okay between the two of you. With mother and advocate here, for a few of you, it's going to be a literal mother figure or your actual mother, but it doesn't have to be. This is just someone, could even be a man, who is really nurturing towards you, you know, like a tutor or like a teacher, someone very kind and caring, someone who inspired you as well with advocate, someone who motivated you to be your best, to do your best always. But here's the thing, eventually there was something about you that they ended up envying. You know, it could be a person. They felt like you were getting the way of, you know, between them and another person. Or it could be this field, whatever it is, this industry, this situation that they're helping you with. Maybe eventually got better at it than them. And, you know, there was insecurity, there was intimidation. So they just kind of tried to push you away from their life. Or they even created a conflict between you and other people. But either way, to them, they're the victim here. You know, they have this victim mentality where they think they did nothing wrong. And even now they actually miss you because they feel like it was you who created some sort of conflict, but they do want to set it right. They're just not aware of what's really going on, or at least they're not admitting it to themselves. With the Queen of Wands here, again, feminine energy could be an Aries because this is the minor arcana card for Aries. With the Nine of Pentacles, could be someone you met at work or another official situation, you know? So not a friend who's your age, again, someone you look up to, so most probably older than you. And also this one, this person really made you feel nurtured with the Nine of Pentacles, you know? You used to thank the divine, the universe, for this person's presence in your life because you felt like they were a blessing, a reward to you. But then the magician energy you started getting better at something and then they started embodying the reversed magician which is envy and jealousy manipulation and deceit so things got bad between the two of you when they reach out to you they will want to talk about this conflict but know that they're kind of deluded you know they're not aware to them they are the victim and you are the one who did something wrong because they are just clouded by emotions jealousy envy there's a lot of confusion emotionally for them so you might need to be patient if you want to have this conversation with them but even you know despite it all they do want to reconcile really and with the ace of swords here you're going to hear from them within a week okay so it's up to you how this is going to go but know that this confused jealous person still cares about you deep down I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care. If you chose the second card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So, who will reach out to you soon? We have a hero, heroine, fool, alchemist, and seeker. From tarot, you have the page of wands, the queen of cups, 
the King of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords. Darling, this is someone that you admire, someone that you probably have a crush on, or for some of you, someone that you downright are in love with, okay? With hero and heroine, you have a lot of fantasies about this person, the two of you spending time together or falling in love with each other. You just really admire the spunk of this person, you know, the passion that they have have for life fire energy i'm hearing this person is extroverted energetic sociable and you just admire that in them this coupled with the fool it means they are brave and courageous you see them as someone daring someone who has this thirst to be alive and i'm hearing that you think that you're not half as daring as they are not half as adventurous and that's why you have a lot of fantasies about them that's why you want to have them in your life they're just someone that you admire and really really look up to with the alchemist you think they are magical you think this is someone emotionally and physically strong as well someone who can transform the worst experiences in their life into the best lessons or you know that saying what doesn't kill you makes you stronger you feel like that totally applies to this person and you just really admire this person inside out with seeker again your soul seeks this person's energy your higher self rejoices at the presence around the presence of this person because this is someone fiery who kind of nurtures you, you know, kind of feeds your own hunger for life. This person is spiritual, whether or not they're aware of it, darling. Okay, religious, I'm not hearing. Not someone who like goes to church, prays the rosary, but someone spiritual. And again, they're probably not aware of it. They probably don't know that their optimism, their belief that everything's gonna work out has to do with manifestation and the law of attraction and you know some sort of belief in the universe. But they do anyway, they do believe that you know that things are going to get better always and that good things are what surround them you know this is that kind of person a lot of optimism again fiery the best kind of fire and you just really really admire this person for some of you it doesn't have to be romantically but admiration is the key word here you have admiration for this person i was talking about fire and the page of wands is someone very fiery right and this is also someone who's 100 percent younger than you at heart okay age could be but at heart this person is definitely more daring with the fool you know more adventurous with hero here with the queen of cups and the king of wands this is probably someone on the cusp of cancer and leo or someone who's like a leo's on cancer rising vice versa that kind of energy and again a royal couple so this person is like the ruler of their life you know they don't let anyone tell them what to do with the six of pentacles you feel like this person doesn't give you enough attention not because they don't care about you but it's like they're so busy with life and you probably think you know if you're romantically interested in, in them that they're out of your league you know you probably think oh maybe they're interested in someone prettier than me or more handsome than me and things like that you feel like you only get breadcrumbs of their attention here but here's the thing darling very soon they are going to approach you with something official the knight of swords this is someone who wants to talk about like surveys or something to do with their theses or with their work they're going to need your help with something official and you know maybe it could blossom into something else from there but they are the one who will need your support and something official either to to do with their work or you know with their career with their studies but it's something important and they're going to need your help so if you feel like this like you're not getting enough of their time that's all going to change very soon so look out for some one that you really really admire very fiery energy there's water in there too again on the cusp of a cancer and leo probably because this person is going to reach out to you soon i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care if you chose the third card welcome to your reading it's timeless you're meant to see it right now so who will reach out to you soon we have artist athlete Avenger and Slave. From Tarot, you have the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. 
Darling, this is interesting. This is someone you look up to and feel sorry for at the same time, okay? With artist, athlete, and avenger, this is probably the most successful person you know. The most prominent, admired, popular person in your social circle, in your community. This is someone who's like a jack of all trades, but also a master. Because you know how the saying goes, jack of all trades, master of none. No, this person is more like a master of all. <laughs> With artists, this one, they have a very strong intuition. They are a creative person. With athlete, physically, they are endowed as well. Someone fit, you know, someone who's strong, someone fast. And with Avenger, this is also mental stability. You know, this is mental stamina. And someone who's not selfish. Someone who has a strong sense of justice, who cares about what's going on around them in society, with people. So this person, they have a strong mind, a heart, and body, okay? This is someone who is really admirable, someone you look up to, but look at slave here. You feel like this person is a slave to their own agenda, their own passions, their own ambitions, or other people's expectations of them. So you do feel sorry for this person while admiring them at the same time. Interesting with the king of swords here aquarius energy so again what did i say about caring you know caring about people around them caring about society probably someone who's an environmentalist or you know something like that someone who really just has concern for more than their own achievements more than their own attainments with the queen of pentacles here this is the card of capricorn so probably someone on the cusp of capricorn and aquarius or someone who's like a capricorn sun aquarius rising that kind of combination both zodiac signs either way are very serious you know they tend to be very serious when it comes to the serious stuff in life you know how some of us we get to laugh about like income and taxes and you know what not the adult things the grown-up things this person no of course they still have sense of humor but when it comes to things about structure loss you know they tend to be very serious in how they approach them this is someone philosophical but also someone who takes action with the six of wands again someone who's successful right people admire them people think they are someone important but here's the thing again with the five of cups you feel like they they should be sad probably they're probably somehow emotionally damaged because people expect so much from them and they probably don't have a lot of time to themselves or or just to relax and travel and sh go shopping and things like that Within a week, the Seven of Wands, all of your suspicions are going to come true because they will actually talk to you about their struggles, okay? So within a week, this person will approach you and it might start casually, the conversation, but eventually they're going to talk about how tired they are, but how unwilling they are to give up, you know? So they're just going to be talking more about who they are, you know, expressing their emotions to you. With the Five of Cups here, it could be a very emotional conversation with you also sharing your own struggles and like you know your own mindset when it comes to societal issues politics and things like that but either way it's going to be a very sincere conversation and you might just end up really helping each other so look out for this aquarius capricorn energy because they will need your insights very soon i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care if you chose the fourth card, welcome to your reading. It's timeless. You're meant to see it right now. So, who will reach out to you soon? We have Don Juan, Destroyer, Martyr, and Gossip. From Tarot, you have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the ace of pentacles a lot of coins so this is probably an earth sign and darling 100 percent this is a former flame this is an x that we're talking about there was a lot of negativity in the way that you ended it but here's the thing things are not as simple as they seem there was some sort of misunderstanding and overall there's just this sense of lack of closure between the two of you because 
there is confusion okay there are delusions in how things ended you probably think they did something worse than they actually did so there is just clouded energy around this and they will reach out to you because the divine the universe thinks that there needs to be closure if not reconciliation just closure you know not necessarily a second chance but the chance to just understand everything clearly with Don Juan, here's someone whom you see as a player, <laughs> man or woman, right? But someone very seductive, someone who probably cheated on you, especially since it's beside the destroyer, right? So someone who's very aggressive, they have a bad temper. I'm hearing fire sign, but like the undeveloped, you know, kind of fire sign who's just very rash and impulsive and honestly immature, especially with the page here, which is like the card of children of childlikeness of immaturity. So again, as it starts off negative energy, right? An ex who probably cheated on you, destroyed your heart, crushed your soul somehow. And you don't want to give them a second chance because if you do, you're going to be like a martyr. You know, and it felt like this. You probably thought that you were left in the dark for too long. This person was hurting you, having an affair or doing something else that's shady. And you felt like you gave them a lot of chances already. So you are not willing to give them another opportunity. But again, here's the thing with the gossip here. Probably there are a lot of untruths that you now think as facts, you know? Probably it's not as bad as you think. Of course, obviously with the destroyer here, there really was something painful. There really was something shady that went on. However, it's probably clouded, you know? maybe you didn't give them a chance to explain themselves or to give the details or there was a third party another person involved who was actually the most malicious in this situation that kind of energy you know your pain is not being negated by your cards your cards are not saying that you're wrong about all this but there is just something that you don't see clearly that you don't understand and that's why the universe the divine is pushing for this person to return to your life again not for a second chance necessarily Entirely, not for reconciliation even but just for clarity just for closure because something needs to be clarified something needs to be understood and set right between the two of you with the four of wands you you really thought this person was the one four of wands is the card of marriage a stable commitment you know a very passionate and devoted relationship so at the beginning this person was everything you know they made you feel good they made you feel loved and you thought that this was your end game your forever but then the ten of swords happened okay destroyer right heartbreak betrayal so it was just it really went downhill from there with the eight of pentacles beside the page of coins you probably think that this person had other priorities okay like you were like a third fourth choice to this person they were more concerned about their own reputation how other people see them they cared more for their job or you know their academics you just felt like this person didn't you know in the end give a lot of weight to your presence in their life you felt like the passion was only at the beginning but that proved to be fatal and fake you know in the end and here's the thing darling when this person reaches out to you very soon it's not going to be directly about what happened to the two of you you know between the two of you they're going to find another opportunity this is really the universe the divine pushing for them to either apologize to you or to just explain themselves to you or to give you that clarity that closure that you need from each other because an opportunity will arise in their life to talk to you about something that you cannot turn down. For example, it's some job opportunity that is going to involve your parents and their parents, you know, something to do with your families or your closest friends, something that you cannot say no to because you know that your loved ones need this chance, this opportunity. But either way, it has something to do with work or academics, right? With the pentacles here, with coins, money, 
something tangible, something material. So this is an opportunity for them to approach you and it's something you can't turn down because again, it's not about the two of you. It's something that can prove to be harmful if you say no to someone that you love, right? So out of the goodwill of your heart, out of your good intentions, you will accept this person's communication when they first approach you and this is going to be your chance to just really talk it out but at first uh, when they enter your life again it's going to be something official that involves your loved one so that is how it's going to happen you have an ace here and our question is about you know asap very soon so within a day or a week for some of you this person is going to come in with this opportunity and then it's up to you how to go about this from here on out it's going to be a rather challenging conversation but in the end it will really clarify everything and give both of you some closure and the chance to move on with your lives i hope you enjoyed your reading thank you for joining me today and i hope to see you again soon take care